Vacation. Apple Cart is an odd name for this movie that is uh, basically a take on the whole upsetting the apple cart idea. I've been told the producers are going to change the name of the film and I think that's a great idea. But the upshot of this idea is there's a family led by the wonderful horror stalwart A.J. Bowen who is taking a trip out to stay in a cabin out in the mountains in the woods that the mom has decided that there's healing properties. Audible eye roll. Anyway, <laughs> AJ is sick. He has cancer, but he's still in the you know the good stage. They're there with their daughter and son, and the daughter's best friend. So everything is kind of proceeding as you expect for your kind of standard horror movie: family out in the cabin in the woods, young sexy teenagers, what have you. And then suddenly it goes to a television show that shows us what happens after the movie, with uh, the, basically the, the bulk of the family being murdered or disappeared. And you're like, what the hell is going on? This is really early in the film. And then it shows a commercial with Barbara Crampton as like a local politician running for, I think, the Senate. And you're like, what is happening in this movie? Okay, well, while I'm not gonna promise you that it has all the answers, because that's not definitely not the kind of movie we're looking at here, it does indeed give you an idea of where this thing is heading eventually. And where it's heading to is kind of a goopy, icky, uh, bit of a gore fest. It definitely takes some cues from the original Evil Dead. It takes some cues, uh, not directly, but in the sense of tone from something like Phantasm, and that it's just so odd, and it's putting together a mythos, but barely explaining it, just enough to make you go, what? Now, I totally get that this threw off a lot of people, uh, but for me, I actually found it very enjoyable, because I love these type of things where it's setting up something you've never seen anything like it before, doesn't give you all the answers at all, or even close, but sets up enough that I'm filling in the gaps with my own imagination about what's going on here. The sad thing is, not many people liked it, so I'll probably never never get answers with a sequel, but hey, what are you going to do? Apple Cart is not my favorite film of the year, to say the least. Um, there's a lot of weird imagery, like it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. There's a lot of back and forth. They do like this reality television show um, in between certain spots, which is supposed to be like super funny. And it is at times, but then you're just like, wait, I would just like to figure out what the hell is going on right now. So Apple Cart for me was not a big hit, but I definitely recommend it for those of you who like more campy movies, who like more tongue in cheek movies. I think you'll like it a lot, but for for me and more horror, like hardcore horror fans, it's it's not not good. A little slightly disappointed in overall the how I felt about this movie. It's got a lot of really great bits. AJ Bowen, Bria Grant, Barbara Crampton are all fantastic in it. It's one of those really odd movies where you've got three really good performances, yet everything around it just doesn't quite add up to a, an overall great movie. Parts of it are really good. It's definitely something I think people should watch if you're a fan of any of those three people, um, but it's not something you'll maybe want to revisit. Um, I'm slightly disappointed in Apple Cup. There are, this is a film I really wanted to like a lot more than I ended up liking. Uh, I think there was a lot of wasted potential. Uh, it does show that if you've got A.J. Bowen in your film, keep him there as much as you possibly can because this film flies when he's there. When he's gone, it really starts to drag. It's a little over-egged. I think it's a little over-edited. The director uh, actually did say that he did 143 different cuts of this. And it kind of shows. I don't think this film is quite sure what it wants to be. There's a lot of potential in there maybe it needs a, a, a 144th or 145th cut or somebody coming in and doing a new cut to really make this work it's a little bit of a shame that this is not more successful than it is what's coming next